Hello everyone, Master of the Z here, and welcome back to more of Pokebox 5's Let's Play of Pokemon Black and White. But, this is Pokemon White. Now, in the last part, we got our very first Pokemon, which was a Snivy, nicknamed Imbert 12. You cannot see it because it's on the bottom screen for some reason. But, you can see its stats. Sort of. Now, last, now we are heading out to Route 1. And what do you gotta say? Okay, so basically what they're trying to make us do is we're taking the first step into the first route all together. Even though it was several. And now for the basic tutorial on how to catch a Pokemon. Hmm. In a second I'll actually do my own little tutorial cause this is actually a really, really basic one. Basically for this how you catch Pokemon, you weaken them, you avoid trying to kill them and then you throw a Pokeball at them. The lower their HP, the more likely you'll actually catch some Pokemon. Now as soon as it's very slow animation done, let's well, it's actually not that not that long. The one back and down the Pearl Platinum, now that one took forever for some reason. And last in my opinion it did. Okay, they got a Pokemon. Okay, we got us Pokeballs! And she's off. And right now, we are... She is... Bianca is about to challenge us to a little contest. If you win this, you get nothing. It's a contest on see who can catch the most Pokemon. There are actual uh, a good amount of Pokemon that can actually catch on this route, but you can't actually catch them all until later. So right now, you only have access to three Pokemon, and we're about to run to our first one. This is a Pat Rat. Pat Rats are pure normal types and usually used for ATM plays. Now. To catch a Pokemon, yes, you have to weaken it and throw a Pokeball. But, to catch Pokemon can be a little more complicated than that. There are actually several different kinds of Pokeballs, and depending on which kind of Pokeball you use, will depend on how easy it is to catch the Pokemon. For instance, there are actually different levels of the same, of the basic Ultra Ball. There's Poke... Wait, what? Yeah. There's a Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball. Great... And that was in the order from least to greatest. There are also other kinds of Pokeballs, like... I did not mean to do that. Ooh, cool, I learned Vine Whip. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, different kinds of Pokeballs. There are also some other examples of the kind of Pokeballs. There are Net Balls, which are good against water and bug types, or like Dark Balls, which are good against Pokemon at night or in dark places like in caves. Now, I'm up against a level 2 Parrot. Ooh, it's arrived. I did not see that coming. Hey, do I have a potion on me? I don't remember. Okay, the thing's weak. Now, if I had the ability of status condition, I could actually make it even easier to catch. You see, if a Pokemon has a status condition like sleep or paralyze, it will, it will be easier to catch. And 
And, well, that's really all you need to know about catching Pokemon. And it will not always be a surefire thing, so just keep chucking po Pokeballs until you catch the one you want. I just caught me a Pat Rat. Now, unfortunately, I have no healing items, so I'm actually going to call it quits for for catching them. You can catch another Pokemon at a... Dear God, I forgot what it's called. Let's see if I can find it. And this is actually it. A Lillipup. Eh, it's another pure normal type. I, I'm not gonna actually use one. I, I have my plan sort of plan, sort of strategized out. Now that actually should be good, so I'm gonna throw a Pokemon out. It does not have to be in the red. It could be in the yellow. Heck, it could even be in the green. But that doesn't always mean it'll work. Okay, I'm gonna send out Pyra, and then I'm going to actually I'm gonna just run. There are there are four different kinds of things that you can do during a battle. You can actually fight, which means to use your different kinds of moves. You can use your items, because Pokeballs are not the only items they can use in battle. There, you can also switch out between Pokemon, and you can run away. You can only do that during a wild Pokemon battle. When you're battling trainers, you cannot run away. Okay. Here we go. Let's see who caught the most. Okay, all of us, we only have two Pokemon. And time for the cutscene money saver. And why is my face cut off? Okay, we're actually now going to head to the Pokemon Center. And welcome to the first time in the game. I personally like this music. Bum bum bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, now let us talk to Professor Juniper. I'm sorry if I'm sort of rushing this a little. I want to get to actually interesting stuff. I don't like the tutorial part of Pokemon games. This is the walkthrough. It's a basically a humongous tutorial. Okay, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Something new about this game, unlike the other generations, the Pokemon Center and Pokemon are, are now combined. In the Pokemon Center, it's basically a place where you can heal your Pokemon for free. If they're fainted, they will be brought back with full HP. If they're low on HP, they'll be brought that back to full. And their PP, which are the amount of times that you can use a certain kind of a certain t attack. Blah, I can't talk. It's late while I'm recording this. I'm I'm tired. What was I talking about? Oh, um. The PP makes it so that the amount. The. Hmm. I blame the tutorial why I can't think. It's how many times you can use a certain kind of attack. Once the PP is out, you can no longer use that certain attack. Now, this is the PC. You can store your Pokemon in a PC since you can only have six Pokemon with you at a time. And if you already have six Pokemon with you, you can automatically. Yeah. Dang what? It'll automatically go to your PC. It says someone's PC. You see, that's a thing in the Pokemon game. Until you actually know who makes the PC of a certain region, it'll just keep saying someone's PC. Now, I do not remember who who makes the storage system for this game, so it's just gonna be someone. And now for the Pokemart. Pokemarts are really good. You can buy Pokeballs here. If you buy Pokeballs, I recommend you buy them 10 at a time. I'll show you why in a second. And you can also buy healing items and escape rope. And the greatest item for a walkthrough, the Repel. Bye now. Now let me actually show you what I mean. Right now you can only buy two things. Pokeballs and potions. I will buy five potions. 
and Pokeballs, I will buy 10. Once you buy 10, you will get a Premier Ball for free. So basically, you pay for only 10, but you get 11. Premier Balls are basically the same thing as a Pokeball, they're just white. Okay, now I'm actually going to be storing that Pat Rat I caught. Because, well, I'm not going to actually use it. Later I might use it, but not now. And yep, that's Nivy. Now I'm actually going to save the game, because we're about to actually get into a boss fight. Well, what do you call it a boss fight? It might be like a mini boss. It's, it's the first real fight of the actual storyline in this game. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. I wouldn't really call it a plaza, but, but I live in a small town, so I really don't know what it looks like. And... Charger. Okay, I guess I'll come over. Well, that's ominous music. My name is... Something. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Now, what? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have, that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really true? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is true? Pokemon are subjects to the selfish command of trainers. They get pushed around when they are when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that they're is no truth in what I say. No way. Yikes. I don't know. I'm curious you're saying this stuff. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. Well, duh. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from who we humans have much to learn. All you need to know about Pokemon? Just look at just look at Cerebi. I'll tell you all you need to know. Tell me, what is your responsibility towards the wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? I don't know. That's right. We must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, we humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by Im by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon. And correct in, in the correct way to proceed. We certainly appreciate your attention. Gods, move out. Those are really well trained soldiers. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. I agree. That is impossible. I was liking the tune. Your Pokemon. Just now. It was saying. Slow down, you talk too fast. What? He said barely any words. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh. Then you can't hear it either. How sad. You see, we never fully get an explanation for N talking to people. Pokemon. My name is N. My name's Sharon, and this is Z. Hey, we only have one letter. We must be brothers. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. 
the Pokedex, eh? Okay, people, this video is actually getting a little long, so I'm actually gonna cut this right now. But we'll start off right after this. So, next time, we will we will finish what this guy is saying. And maybe we'll actually be able to do stuff. See you later.